It is large enough to game, watch videos, anything you can connect via HDMI. Easy to set up, it travels well in original packaging. This these monitors are really good and lives up to the description. The response time is fantastic and you can get it up to 144 Hz, but only with the supplied display port cables. My 1660T can usually only supply 120 FPS or 100 FPS, but these monitors really do bring the whole package. For optimal screen options I would look at other user reviews as I did to help get optimal settings to get the monitors working correctly. AOC did not let me down. Great bang for your buck. If you don't mind black light bleeding and a not too bright display this is pretty good. The colors look really good and the 144Hz performed awesome. Can't beat the curved display too. Close up it makes you feel more immersed in the game. It also has really good adjustability options. You can tilt it up and down and swivel from left to right and even lift the display a couple inches. Overall awesome budget monitor for the price. Built my first PC and went with this monitor not knowing if I would like a curved display or not. Love it. The curve is listed as being one of the more aggressive curvatures if I remember correctly and was a bit jarring the first time I saw it. But once connected and gaming it just works. Images do not seem distorted or anything like that although I sit fairly close, at a desk. 144 Hz with FreeSync is the obvious selling feature and it works great. Playing through AC Origins, DMC5, and now The Division 2 I haven't had any problems with tearing, stuttering. Everything is smooth and displayed clearly. The only thing I could really nitpick about is that the frame counter is fairly large and red, not exactly discreet. Not big enough to be really bothersome, but I just end up using the client launcher or separate applications if I want to see, check my frame rate. Really a personal taste preference more than a negative. AOCC Q32G131. 5 inches, 1 millisecond, 144 Hz QHD monitor review. After using a Samsung 60 Hz monitor for a while I wanted to upgrade to 144 Hz. I bought the 32 inch because I mostly play games like Assassin's Creed, Red Dead Redemption 2, Far Cry, and other very cinematic titles. Although this monitor does keep up fine with TN panels, even when playing games like CSGO, Titanfall 2, and Apex Legends. After receiving the panel the colors were way off. I messed with the setting for a while but in the end ended up using the RGB settings to get the right colors. None of the factory presets were to my liking. I also found the menu buttons on the monitor very easy to use unlike other monitors I've used. This monitor is G-Sync compatible. My 2070 recognized the monitor and works flawlessly with no artifacts or screen tearing or stuttering whatsoever. This monitor also gets plenty bright. I ended up downloading Flux to tone down the brightness when I use the monitor in the dark because it's so bright. I have this monitor running in 144Hz as my main with another 32-inch Samsung panel as my secondary running in 60Hz. Click link in description for more reviews. Please click the link below for more information. Please subscribe to my channel for more great products. Please use my affiliate links to support my channel.